I'm here today to talk a little bit about self-awareness, how we can increase our capacity for awareness to allow us to make better decisions, to reduce our suffering, and to increase our moments of joy and our, and our moments of happiness. My name is Mike. I'm the founder of Starts With Me, a consultancy specializing in K-12 education and workplace mental health. Self-awareness gets thrown around a lot. I'm going to talk about two kinds of awareness. One is the awareness of things that are happening outside of me. I see the car driving down the street. I see my wife cooking food or I see my wife going to work, whatever it is. I see my kids playing and having a good time. I smell the flowers. I feel the warmth of the sun. I'm aware of the things that are happening outside. That's awareness number one. Awareness number two. Everybody has external awareness. Everybody has internal awareness, although most people don't practice or don't have the tools that allow them to be clo more closely aligned with their internal awareness. Unawareness is our normal state of being. Unawareness of the inside. Awareness really just means to know, to know what is. In this COVID world, it's hard to know uh, from day to day what we're going to experience or what's going to happen, how we're going to live, what we have to adjust to. This gives us the ultimate opportunity to turn inward and to develop the moment-to-moment -moment awareness that is going to allow us to reduce the amount of suffering, the amount of difficult moments we have, and increase the pleasurable moments the, the moments of purpose and meaning and connection. I'm not gonna pretend that we're all supposed to thrive through this and find the bright side of everything because this really sucks. I wanna honor that, this sucks. On the other side of that, we have the capacity to do wonderful things and we're capable of doing amazing things. So let's not forget that too. So how self-awareness is working for me right now? Awareness one, I'm aware of what's going on in the world. I'm, I can see these things happening around me. Awareness number two, I'm aware of how this is impacting my thoughts. Number one, two, my emotions. Three, my bodily sensations. So headaches, butterflies in my stomach, lumps in my throat, head, you know, those kind of things. Number four, behavior. What am I doing? Am I drinking more coffee? Am I eating more food? Am I exercising? Am I sleeping too much, too little? All those kind of things. So how are all these practices helping me? Rather than get lost in the future and panic and fear and all that, I am centered and I focus on today. One day at a time, one minute at a time, one hour at a time. What can I control today? And when I focus on what I can do today to create a better uh, outcome from this COVID-19 madness, then I bring myself a little more sense of ease, tranquility in my life. So over the next week, or actually today or tomorrow, my invitation to you is to notice one pleasant experience. Write down what are the thoughts you were having during that pleasant experience. Write down the emotions you experienced in that pleasant moment. Write down the physical sensations you had and Write down the behaviors that you had. Invitation number two, a stressful situation or a difficult one. Write down the thoughts you were having in that difficult situation. Write down the emotions you were experiencing. Write down the physical sensations you were experiencing and write down the behaviors that you engaged in as a result of that difficult situation. One super easy suggestion if you don't wanna do the writing, name it to tame it. When you're having thoughts that aren't helpful, Maybe there are their panic thoughts or worried thoughts or critical thoughts. Name it to tame it. Oh, I'm having critical thoughts. Oh, I'm, there I go, thinking the worst. Same with emotions or, or deep, difficult experiences. Oh, I'm really angry right now. Anger, anger, anger. Anxiety, anxiety. Name it to tame it, okay? Also do it with the enjoyable moment. Joy, happiness, excitement. This is awesome. We talked about two types of awareness. External awareness, the things that everybody kind of does on a daily basis. The, I can feel the heat of the sun. I can see the traffic over there. I can smell the yummy food. Okay, that's external awareness. 
Awareness number two, internal awareness. What are my thoughts, feelings, physical sensations and behaviors? And can I become aware of them as I'm engaged in them? That's the superpower. We can become, you know, the video camera in the corner of the room, observing ourselves engaged in life. That's where the real choice, the power to choose, the power to pause and respond rather than react to situations. That's where we want to get to. That takes practice. That takes deep commitment, okay? Deep commitment, but you can do it. We all can do it. And I would argue we must do it. So thank you for your time. I wish you the best and may the force be with you. Peace out.